Hey guys, uh, welcome to your uh, Libra versus all tarot signs reading for December 2023. You can apply this to any of your placements. We're just, just going to see what the cards have to say. Uh, so uh, we're going to take a look first what you guys need to know for December. And then we'll finish off the read with you versus all tarot signs. Just a quick note that this portion is not time stamped because those messages are so quick. It's just not worth time stamping. Um, so uh, if someone wants to time stamp it for me, that would be much appreciated. And thank you in advance. Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other, take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, Libra people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to um, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, Instagram. The links for those are in the description box below. I do also post readings on there too. So tell me about uh, Libra. What does Libra need to know for December 2023? What does Libra need to know for December 2023 for Libra? What does Libra need to know for December 2023 for Libra? For Libra. Okay, so we have the Ten of Cups here and the Sun. Okay, Libra, seems like things are going really well. Things are pretty happy here for you guys. Okay, now this could be with your family. Uh, you know, this could be with your friends. This could be in a romantic relationship here. You know, I do feel like things are... Yeah, I, I do feel like you are experiencing emotional fulfillment at this time here. Okay, let's see what else we have here. We have the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Strength card here, Leo Energy. Okay, you know, one of the things I'm getting here is that, Libra, you guys are definitely feeling good about yourself. You know, feeling, you know, things are going really well. You know, I do feel like there's prosperity here. There's wealth here. There's potential for prosperity and wealth here. With the Ace of Pentacles, you guys could be gaining the courage to maybe take the next steps in your relationships. You know, perhaps you guys are taking on a new job. Maybe you guys are starting a new business or moving to a new home. Two of Wands here and a Cherry. Yeah, you guys have some decisions to make here. Maybe this, this is regarding a move. Maybe this is regarding a home. You know, maybe this isn't regarding a new job or uh, perhaps leaving uh, an employment here to start your own business here with a chariot cancer energy. But you know what? You know, uh, Libra, whatever decisions that you make here, it will lead you to victory and success here. So I feel like whichever you choose, I do feel like it will be either way. It will be fine. Okay. Tell me about the chariot here. Why is the chariot here? The chariot and the eight of swords. Tell me the two of wands here. Why is the two of wands here and the nine of swords? Yeah. Um. So this decision that you're making here or that you're about to make this is weighing very heavily on your head in your mind you're constantly thinking about it you're constantly like uh you know just thinking about it and you're losing sleep over this so i do feel like eventually you will have to make a decision here yeah this is weighing very heavily on your heart or on your mind here more so on your mind because I feel like maybe the decision that you're you're making it might affect other people around you, but whatever decision that you make, you have to know that it's it's the best decision for you. You're doing it for yourself, nobody else. You know what I mean? The uh, the strength card here, Ace of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles here, and the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I mean, maybe this is a business decision that you're trying to make. Like I said, maybe you're leaving a nine to five employment here to start a new business here, and I feel like you know. Your worries are uh, coming in, even though uh, most of this hasn't been started yet or even executed yet. Okay, the sun. So we have the sun here. We have the uh, we have the uh, uh, death card, Scorpio energy. The uh, the um, uh, the um, sorry, the ten of cups here and the nine of pentacles here. A lot of guys are definitely going through some sort of spiritual transformation here at this time here too. Seems like there's a lot going on here, uh, Libra. Yeah, seems like there's a whole lot of changes that are happening and the whole uh, these changes are happening very fast and very quickly here. And you're worried about, you know, the long-term effects that it might have on people in around your life. You know what I mean? So I feel like you're making decisions based on what other people's want from you, but I feel like it's important to do things for yourself too. What else do we have for Libra? Libra versus all 12 signs from Aries all the way to Pisces. Libra versus all 12 signs from Libra all the way to Pisces. What do we have here for 
uh, Aries all the way to Pisces for Libra. Libra. Libra versus all 12 signs. Libra versus an Aries here. We have the Eight of Pentacles here, and we have the King of Pentacles. Um, this person tends to work a lot, okay? You know, this could also be an indication that this person is definitely putting in a lot of effort into this connection here too. Uh, but, you know, they also could be distracting themselves. Maybe, uh, maybe this person, um, yeah, it seems like this person's like always tired. Doesn't really, maybe doesn't really want to hang out and they're working a lot. Um, Libra versus a Taurus here. We have the king, uh, no, the queen of swords, okay? And the seven of wands. Um, this person's incredibly guarded here. Yeah, very guarded. Um, this person has a hard time being vulnerable. You know, this is an individual that is not really open with their emotions here. Um, Libra versus a Gemini. We have the Ten of Wands and the Two of Swords. Uh, you're tired of this person's back and forth. Yeah, you're tired of this person's indecisions here. I feel like this person's incredible. This Gemini is incredibly indecisive, okay? Um, Libra versus a Cancer here. We have the Fool card here and the Queen of Cups. Um, I feel like this person's falling in love with you, okay? So I do feel like this person's like perhaps having a really great time getting to know you and stuff like that. And they want, they want to take the next steps here with you or that they want to go on this adventure here with you. Uh, Libra versus a Leo. We have the four of swords and the page or the knight of swords here. Whoever this is, if there's any sort of uh, uh, no communication or no contact with this person, this person's about to break no contact here, uh, uh, Libra, this Leo. Uh, Libra versus a Virgo. We have the six of wands here and the five of swords. Ugh, this person's really bad. I feel like this person really enjoys playing mind games here with you. And I feel like this person likes to win at these mind games here. This person's really bad. Uh, Libra versus the Libra here with the King of Swords here and the Five of Wands. Okay, um, this is a this is a very angry individual or very combative individual. I feel like when you try to resolve things with this person, instead of resolving things, they tend to like to fight or argue here. I do feel like also this person's a, a, a very jealous individual too, okay? It's like they're jealous of your success or that they're jealous of what you have and stuff like that. Or, you know, they're jealous that good things are happening in, uh, in your life at this time. Uh, Libra versus a Scorpio here with the Five of Cups here and the Ten of Cups. This person has some major regrets not being able to make this relationship work here with you, okay? Or that this person does not feel any regret for taking things to the next level here with you. Uh, and stepping into a committed relationship. Still two scenarios here. Uh, Libra versus a Sagittarius with the Six of Pentacles here and the Four of Wands. Whoever this is, I feel like this person is putting a lot of energy and effort into this relationship and making this work here, okay? Um, make sure you guys do this equally because if you, if one person's doing it more than the other, obviously, obviously it creates an energetic imbalance here, okay? Libra versus a Capricorn. We have the King of Cups here and the uh, Page of Pentacles. This person wants to tell you that they love you and I feel like this person wants to take the next steps here with you, okay? Uh, Capricorn, not Capricorn, Libra versus um, an Aquarius with the Three of Cups here and the Four of Pentacles, okay? Um, I feel like this person doesn't really have a lot to give because I feel like this person is uh, exploring other options at this time here, okay? Uh, Libra versus a Pisces here with a Fool card here and the Sun the swords. Uh, this person's a trickster here. Be careful of them. They might take things from you. They might lie to you. They might steal things from you. So just be careful uh, around them. All right. So um, Libra, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.